Hello YouTube, I want to review Siphon Filter for the PlayStation 3 and PSP. In this video, it is a single player third person shooter released in 1999 by 989 Studios. That's the original release date. It was more recently released on the North American PlayStation Network December 14, 2007 for digital download only. That means that you cannot, when you download this on the PlayStation 3, you cannot play it on any other system. Why would you? If you're going to want to play it on the original system or PS2, buy the disc based version. No, you cannot put this on a PlayStation 2 hard drive because you cannot access the PlayStation Network on a PS2. Originally, the PlayStation Network was going to be um, accessible on the PlayStation 2, but I guess it just didn't. Uh, yeah, I guess Sony dropped that idea. It was came going to be under a different name too, and I'll find that out and put it in the description. If you really guys really want to know, just let me know and I'll put it in the description. Anyways, you start off in the game. You're um, um, in this game, you are playing as a uh, special agent. Uh, you're fighting against a terrorist organization hired by the government, of course you are. And you start off the game in the streets of Washington, D.C. You're hot on the trail of a biological chemical making gang. And you're trying to get to the maker, um, the ringleader, so to speak. Uh, and I guess you get to him at the end of the game. And you must shoot your way through these missions. Um, that's not all there is to the game, though. Uh, you have to do perform certain things in the game, you know, dropping, you know, disarming a bomb or, uh, or getting a certain weapon or, you know, killing a certain some people. Uh, really, it's 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 it reminds me of uh, the Mission Impossible game on the Nintendo 64, and it's not quite as hard as that game, but it is still a challenge at the same time. It's a fast-paced game. I like really enjoy fast paced um, environmental games like that. Uh, graphics are pretty decent. Um, you go through different uh, places in the game, you know, a s courtyard, a subway, um, outside courtyard, of course. You guys know what that is. Um, <coughs> now, now, you do have some, a girl to help you through the mission. She's kind of like a uh, the person that guides you through the uh, G Metal Gear games is kind of like that. Uh, only, yeah, she comes up in like a side, uh, in like a TV style type thing, you know, like a like you're talking on the phone. You can see her face and her mouth move, but uh, and there is a little bit of narration in the game. This girl helping you will narrate some scenes in the game, which is pretty neat. The voice acting does seem kind of cheap at times, though. So I, that is one con about the game. Um, controls are really good. I believe you could use the joysticks on the DualShock controller, and you can use them on the. You should be able to use them on the uh, the newer consoles now, the PlayStation consoles. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, just tell me. I'm gonna research that and put it in the description since I was not fully prepared for this review. But uh, yeah, great game. Graphics are pretty decent for their time. Once again, I'm not a real stickler for graphics when it comes to these games. They did the best that they could at the time. They were state-of-the-art graphics in 1999 um, for a console, I guess. I guess You're going to play this game on the PC as well, and it is on the Sega Saturn 2 as well. Sega Saturn. Sega Saturn. Er, I, can't, I can't talk right now, guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'd give this game a 7 out of 10. Just because I think the voice acting could have been better, and... Uh, I think graphics could have been tweaked a little more, just a tad. I'm not criticizing the graphics, so don't, don't, don't anybody go ape shit on me, because I'm not going to put up with that. Uh, well, that's my review, guys. I'm going to wrap this up uh, by saying what you can expect from me in the future. I'm still going to do the restaurant reviews, um, CD and vinyl record reviews, cassettes, all the you know, music reviews, basically. Um, the meal ideas I'll make every now and then, and... I that's really all I'm gonna make. I'm just gonna review stuff and make those other these other videos. The PS3 and PS2 instructional videos will be still be around. I'm gonna start some uh, instructional videos on all the consoles I own, and if I can, I might even start uh, a few PC instructional videos. I really don't know, guys, because I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys since I started that series. Um, it's been very fun doing these and look out for my I'm going to do some more PlayStation Network game uh, reviews 
they won't just be PS3 games. They're going to be, you know, games for the PlayStation 3 and uh, PlayStation games, just like the one I'm doing now. So, um, pretty cool artwork, guys. I showed the uh, European artwork in here as well. It's, uh, I think it's like one of the first clips actually um, before the American artwork shows. This artwork that's showing now, guys. So, that about wraps it up for this review. Thanks for watching. Comments are welcome. Rate me five stars, please. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. Pew! Honk, 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 honk.